my name is Clarissa Eriksson and I am of Norwegian descent. My grandparents came from the Trom Trondheim area here to America and I'm very proud of my Norwegian heritage. What is your profession here in uh, La Crosse? I am a receptive tour operator, so what I do is I welcome uh, groups that come to the La Crosse area to tour. I set up itineraries and I also serve as a step-on guide. Can you tell us uh, something about the uh, Norwegians uh, who came first uh, to this place and uh, how, it, uh, how they did here? Uh, many of the Norwegians that came here, they came to this area, they were attracted to this area because of our bluffs. It reminded them of home. Uh, many of them were homesick. Uh, they crossed over the ocean and uh, they brought all of the possessions that they could bring in, in uh, trunks. Uh, so it wasn't a whole lot. And they had to come here and start all over again. Many of them that came here were farmers. Um, we credit the Norwegians with some uh, new farming methods that were put into practice here. Uh, terrace farming and strip farming. Um, and they also invented the toothpick, which is kind of fun. Uh, we do have several uh, Norwegian towns in the area uh, that were started by Norwegian immigrants. And we celebrate Sittemai in a, a couple of those towns around the La Crosse area. The Norwegians came in second to the Germans in population in La Crosse, but uh, in the surrounding communities they probably took over as far as uh, the numbers that came to this area during the immigration. What about the Norwegians up through uh, the years? Uh, how, uh, how much uh, of their culture is back uh, now? Well, actually, um, I've entertained uh, several Norwegian groups uh, through, through the years in my position, and I was told by many of them that we uphold the heritage and culture of the Norwegians better than the Norwegians do in the home country. Um, I know that every Thanksgiving, Christmas, and sometimes Easter, we have our Ludafisk, and we have our Lefse, <laughs> And we have our meatballs. That is just uh, something that's served always for our holidays. Are there a lot of Norwegian speaking uh, speaking around here? The, the language is it still? Do, do someone still speak Norwegian? Yes, my father spoke Norwegian. Of course, he has passed on now. Um, Decora, Iowa, is where you're going to going to find a lot more of the Norwegian speaking. Um, descendants. Um, there are some in this area that still do, that do speak Norwegian. Uh, it's not as apparent in La Crosse, but in the smaller towns it is. Mm. Do you yourself speak some Norwegian? Unfortunately, I do not. Um, my father taught me some words, but um, I've never had the opportunity to take, take the class to learn more. Was it your grandfather who came from uh, Trondheim area? Yes, uh, my grandfather Severin and my grandmother Bietha came here uh, to the United States and they settled in Pullman, Wisconsin, which is just north of La Crosse. Have you tracked them uh, back to Norway? Yes, my brother has done an extensive family tree um, showing our uh, pedigree uh, all the way back to my grandfather ten times over. <laughs> Wow, and uh, but do you know from where exactly in uh, the Trondheim area your grandfather came from? Unfortunately, that's a question my brother would have to answer. <laughs> he has track of all of that. Okay, uh, the last question. What, what, what is the Norwegians uh, doing here today? Uh, the Norwegians are celebrating their culture and carrying on the traditions and passing them on down to their children. Um, they celebrate Sittemai every year. Um, we live life uh, to the fullest. Um, I find many of my, our family, we have uh, uh, strong family traditions of being together whenever we can. Um, and uh, 
we always are very proud to be Norwegians and originating from Norway.